A certain miller had a donkey, which had carried the sacks to the mill indefatigably for many a long year. But the donkey was growing old, and the miller was considering what to do. And the donkey, sensing that no good wind was blowing, ran away and set off for the town of Bremen. There, they said, I can certainly be town musician. They did not walk far when they came upon a dog gasping for breath. Why are you panting so? asked the donkey. Ah, said the dog, because I am old and can no longer hunt, my owner wanted to shoot me, so I ran away. But now good advice is scarce. What am I to do? Ah, said the donkey, come with me to Bremen and be a town musician. You shall beat the kettle drum and I will play the lute and people will love us. The dog thought well of the idea and went with them. The two did not walk far when they came upon a cat with a face like three rainy days. Why so grim, old shaver, asked the donkey. Who can be merry when their neck is in danger, said the cat. Because I am old and prefer to sit by the fire and spin rather than hunt about after mice. My owner wanted to drown me, so I ran away. But now what am I to do? Ah, said the donkey, you understand night music. Come with us to Bremen, and you shall be a town musician too. The cat thought well of it and went with him. The three did not walk far when they came upon a gate on which stood a rooster, crowing with all its might. Oh, said the donkey, your crow goes through and through one. What are you crowing about? I have been foretelling fine weather, said the rooster, but the cook has no mercy and intends to cook me in the soup. So I'm crowing while I can still make my music. Ah, said the donkey, you can find something better than death anywhere. Your voice has a certain quality to it. Come with us to Bremen and you shall be a town musician. The rooster thought well of it and went with them. But the four musicians could not make it all the way to Bremen in just one day. So they had to spend the night in a forest beneath a big tree. And each animal lay down according to their nature. The donkey and the dog lay down at the base of the tree. The cat climbed up into the low branches, but the rooster went way up high into the highest branches. From there, they could see a light in the distance and called down. In the distance, I can see a light. Perhaps there is shelter. If so, we should go, said the donkey, because the shelter here is bad. And the dog thought that some bones would meet on them would do them good. So the four animals walked closer and closer to the light and came upon nothing else but a well-lit robber's house. The donkey, being the tallest, looked in through the window. What do you see, my gray one, called the others. What do I see, said the donkey. I see a great feast laid out on a table and four robbers sitting around it, enjoying themselves. Ah, that we were there. So the four animals met together and at last, when those musicians had come up with a plan, this is what they did. The donkey put their legs on the window ledge. The dog got on top of the donkey. The cat got, got on top of the dog. And the rooster got on top of the cat. Then, at the given cue, they each made their music. The donkey brayed. The dog barked. The cat meowed. And the rooster got the doodle dude. And they broke through the window, shattering the glass. The robbers, thinking nothing else but that a ghost had come in, fled into the forest in terror. But the four musicians of Bremen just sat down at the table and ate and ate and ate until they were satisfied. Now they wanted to rest, so each lay down according to their nature. The cat curled up by some coals of the fire. The dog lay down by the back door. The donkey went out and lay by some hay in the yard, and the rooster perched on a beam of the roof and they soon fell asleep. Meanwhile, out in the forest, the captain of the robbers said, we ought not to have let ourselves be frightened so easily. So they sent the youngest robber in to see if the coast was clear. It was very, very dark in the house. So the young robber wanted to light a candle, but they mistook the glowing eyes of the cat for live coals. And when they tried to strike a match against it, the cat did not like the joke at all and scratched them in the face. That poor robber ran towards the back door, but ran right into the dog and the dog bit them in the leg. The robber got outside, but ran right into the back legs of the donkey. That gave them a tremendous kick. And the whole time the rooster woke up and began crowing, 
Cock a doodle doo! 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 Well, that young robber ran back to their captain and said, Inside the house there is a witch, and they scratched me with their nails. By the door, someone with a knife stabbed me in the leg. Out in the yard, a monster beat me with a big club. And the whole time, a judge woke up and said, Catch the thief, oh do! Catch the thief, oh do! Well, from that time forth, the robbers never went back to that house. But it suited the four musicians of Bremen so well that they chose never to leave it. And if things have not changed, they are living there still today.